you, you never, um, you cannot underestimate how much you need to make a difference for it to show. You know, it's really like the accompaniment needs to be piano, c, 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 mo, and even though it's, ri it's, ri it's written piano in the score, you sort of need to play forte to a singing voice. You know, it's, uh, that's how we do it. Sort so of your two different hands are playing, are trying and succeeding at playing two different volumes. Yes, and, and, and two different hands in one is, is one thing, but it's very often in the same hand too. Whoa, so Which like like you're splitting your fingers you're in half. You're splitting your fingers. Could you, your would you mind showing sure, us sure. a little? So, so um, for example, that piece I just played, you know, obviously the, the singing voice is, is here, and so. That that's says pianissimo in the score, but I'm actually playing mezzo forte. Don't tell anybody. Um, and and so, but but what's hard is that the same hand is doing. And that needs to be as soft as humanly possible, and the other hand too. And so that's how you get this kind of sound. happen if you actually don't make that effort and spend those hours working out that this is what happened which is nice but not as nice <laughs> it kind of, you kind of lose that song the song you the do. singing part of exactly, it exactly yeah oh okay so definitely a challenge i saw was it just your pinky and maybe your ring finger playing exactly, a little mostly, bit louder mostly the pinky and the ring finger and everything and else had that song. Ooh, that's, that's like that's doing this one. Exactly. But more. <laughs> but more. Big time more. Go the other direction now. What? <laughs> <laughs> you do circles on your head and try and mix it. Okay, anyways, anyways. That's an exercise for you pianists out there. Um, okay, and then to bump it up a little bit, in the future of this concert, later, yes. you we're going to be hearing something where you're adding another skill on top. And actually, if you were at the last concert, you heard a little bit about this from our previous pianist, which was cross, is the technical term yeah, cross hands? Yeah, What's it? Hands crossing, yeah, hands exactly. Crossing. Yeah, hands crossing is difficult because we spend so much time like this, you know, and then suddenly when you have to do this or this, it's like, you, you high, your eyes don't know where to look anymore, and, and, and so, and there's quite a bit of hands crossing in, that, in the last moment of, of the C minor sonata, um, and, and, and it's particularly difficult because the whole movement is very difficult. Actually, the story of that movement is, well, it's not an official story, but that's what I think Schubert had in mind, is, is the story of the, of the El König, um, the, uh, the Roi des Zones in French, I'm not sure in English, but the, the, the king of, uh, Anybody knows what El Kernish is in the English? Anyway, the story is, it. it's a little kid riding on a horse with his dad. And the kid is sick and his dad is, you know, we're in like in 1820 or something. So he's not driving, he's riding the horse to the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the El Kernish is, is talking to the kid and, and the kid says, dad, dad, the El Kernish wants to bring me with him and that means he's gonna die, right? And the dad says, no, no, don't worry. It's, it's, it's just the noise in the trees that you hear or the wind. And so, but no, no, dad, I hear him. And so during that song that, that Goethe wrote the words, you hear the horse running. And I think that movement is really the horse sort of race of the dad going with the kids to try to save the kids. So the whole thing is, is, is um, you know, the beginning is this. What's, what's, what's no big deal. <laughs> you also. Well, in that one you also have the repeated chords that are supposed to be, to be piano, and so it's, it's quite it's quite a lot of, of, of technical challenge. Okay, so when a composer writes something with hands crossing, what's why? Like, why can't your left hand play those notes? Well, here the the, the left hand is the horse, you know, and so you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's easier that it's always the same one who's playing the, the okay. horse and then the, the right.
right hand sort of plays the melody so on. So the left hand stays more consistent. Exactly, yeah. And then the melody is going, reaching further there than I get it. Yeah, okay, right. yeah. so a little roadblock. That's it. Going with the theme.